So voltage is, in my opinion, a slightly trickier concept than current, but we can still make some good analogies with water circuits. But first off, we're going to look at um, a more microscopic idea of, of where we get the concept of voltage. So voltage has got a lot of different names. It's often called potential difference or electromotive force, uh, bias or electrical pressure. So there's a, a whole load of different names that you might come across that mean the same thing, which is voltage. So let's go back to um, thinking about just electrical charge. So if, say we've got a large negative charge here and we're going to take a small positive test charge. So there's an electric field generated by this negative charge which is pulling this positive charge towards it. So there's some force exerted by this negative charge on this positive charge. So if we want to move it, so if we say that this positive charge is at point A and we want to move it to point B, then we're going to have to push it. We're going to have to exert a force and move it over a distance to this point. So in moving this positive charge, so we're exerting a force over some distance, so we know that we're going to have some energy that we've had to put in, so energy would be the force times distance, so this is the simplified case for if this force doesn't change, so in fact this force would be changing, so we would have the integral of the force with respect to distance. But let's just imagine for simplicity case that we've got a constant force, then we've put some certain amount of energy into this system, so we've given this positive charge some energy. So what's happened to it? That energy hasn't disappeared, we know energy can't just disappear, so this positively charged particle has some potential energy and it's very similar to gravitational potential energy. So if we have some large mass and then some small mass and we move it away from point A to point B, then we give it some gravitational potential energy. And it's this potential energy that is really the voltage. Right, so as we, if we have our single charge, if we move it from this point to this point, then it's going to want to move back to this point. It's got a force pulling it in. And so voltage is given in units of joules per coulomb. So the joules bit is this potential energy that a, a unit of charge has got. So here this is, we're just thinking about an individual charge, whereas in voltage it's this this unit coulomb, which is our 6.25 times 10 to the 18 um, electrons. So we can also, using this gravitational analogy, um, a nice way to think about voltage in a circuit is as a head of water. So. We have some water stored here, then if 
this is connected up to some circuit where we've got water flowing, then we can think of the voltage being analogous to the head of this water. So the higher up this goes, the more pressure there will be in the water circuit. So in the water circuit, uh, voltage is analogous to the pressure. So if we now think about um, a battery, then you might be thinking, okay, well, what has this idea of potential energy that we're giving to charge, if we put some energy in by pushing uh, a test charge from one point to another and give it some of this potential energy. Well, what's that got to do with a battery? Is, is that what is happening in a battery? Well, it's not exactly what is happening in a battery. Um, in, in a battery, we do have an equivalent of this. So in a battery, we've got two chemical states. So one has a lower electrical potential energy than the other. So currently, if the, if the battery is full, then most of the chemicals in it are in the higher potential energy state. And then when we connect this battery up to something and run current from it and gradually drain it, then we're moving electrons from the higher potential energy chemical state down to the lower chemical potential energy state. So what's going on in a battery is equivalent to this idea that we've got of physically moving a charge from a point um, that's close to um, an opposite charge to a point that's farther away.